Přátelé, ahoj, zdravím vás autobusu, právě jsme na cestě do Maďarska. Všechno na poslední chvíli klasicky, před bombardama jsme ještě pomalu ani neměli jet. Každopádně byla náhlá změna plánu. Welcome everybody to the penultimate round of the 2024 Driftmasters season. We find ourselves here in Mariupol, Hungary for round five of what has been one of the most exciting, game-changing seasons that I've ever witnessed. I cannot wait to take you guys around this amazing little track. I've just did a little track walk. Today it is setup day, so we'll go find some of the drivers who are slowly arriving and get their thoughts on the season so far and this round ahead of us. As always, stay tuned to the Instagram stories and the TikTok as I'll be showing you where you can watch all weekend for absolutely free. Let's head into the pits and see who's here. I've just found Pontus Hartmann. How are you feeling coming into this weekend here in Hungary? Feeling great. Uh, we had a big crash in Riga. The car is back to perfect shape. So yeah, feeling great. Nice weather. You have to walk the track and it looks amazing. So it's gonna be fun. First time here, uh, yeah, that feels good. Did, uh, did you have to do much repair to your car or was it a fairly simple? Uh, it was a fairly simple, it was basically the radiator and plastic. So it was fairly simple, a little bit of steel work, um, but it, it was okay, yeah. Awesome, man. well, I'll let you go get set up. I know we all just arrived here, but it's been good to see you. Can't wait to see you out there tomorrow yeah. at practice. Thank you, guys. I am here with Clint Van Ort, straight from Iron Drift King. Big win over there. How are you feeling coming in at round five in Hungary? I'm really feeling really good. Like, it was an amazing event we took to win. And I'm yeah, really happy with that. We didn't. I would say that, you know, didn't know we had the possibility to do it, but we did it and some real good confidence for going into round five. So really looking forward to that. And you were telling me a minute ago the amount of work you had to do on the trusty S14. Oh yeah, we just straight from Iron Drift King, we hopped in the truck Sunday morning, straight home, did the whole car, let like, I think three, four hours sleep. And we worked all night until Monday and the truck left on Monday. We fixed like a lot of things. We built a new X house. We did some, we had a little fire. So we did some wires and the whole, the front knuckles were damaged and it, oh, it was complete garnage. Like poor, <laughs> poor car. Well, well done for getting here. And Oyan, Riga didn't go the way you hoped, but what are you thinking going in around five here in Hungary? This is a new track for us. Um, a lot of guys have not driven here before. It's a cool track. You come with high speed into the first corner and you have to really push out and hit the line right. So it's going to be exciting. I've done some hours in the simulator. Hopefully we'll get it right and I'm stoked for a new weekend. Awesome, man. We can't wait to see you out there. So I'll let you get your car prepped. I see you're doing some uh, fresh livery on a new bumper here for the Sora. So I'll let you crack on and we'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you. Twenty twenty three champion, Connor Shanahan. What's up? Twenty twenty four King of Riga. Connor yeah. Shanahan, I didn't get to catch up with you after the last round, so I wanted to grab you before this one even kicks off. How are you feeling from the last round and going into this one in Hungary? Yeah, the feeling is good. It was nice to get back on uh, top again. Uh, first round that the car actually ran and we uh, managed to beat everyone and get back on top of the podium. So it was quite nice to know that kind of nothing has changed. It's just been a pity that this is the way this year has went for us. Now I look at the points and I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit, to be honest. If I had one good round, we probably could have been in the fight towards the end with another win here, maybe. But... It is what it is. We have no shot of winning this championship this year, but I'm still kind of maybe in the idea if we could fight for third, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens in front of me. The boys are going to be fighting. There's a lot of pressure. I was just saying to Jack on the way here, this is the biggest weekend for the boys. You know, the last one's a big one, but this is the one where the work gets done. So. 
Let's see who folds under the pressure. For sure, one of them is going to. And uh, let's see who comes out on top this weekend. But all I know is I'm playing my own game now. The win in Riga was nice. Uh, car was flawless. It was just quite nice just to get back confidence again and, and trust the driving and start pushing some doors again in the GT86. So the plan doesn't change. We go into this weekend hoping that we can get back in the box again and, and uh, push for number one. I quite like this track. It's good for chasing. You've got to take big risks. So happy to be here. Win in Riga was nice, but I'm hungry for more. Can't wait to see it, Connor. Thank you, bro. It's great to see you back up there. James Dean, we have you here in Hungary, sitting top of the Driftmasters leaderboard right now. How are you feeling coming in around five? Feeling great coming into round five. I uh, just came off of vacation and it was nice to have a few days off and kind of reset. And I'm very excited to get back behind the wheel of the S14.9. Back in Hungary, I was actually here two times before, I think in 2016 and 2018. It's a wild track, it's sketchy, uh, but it's a lot of fun. We're just gonna try our best and uh, take it as it comes. Perfect. I think me and all the fans watching are very excited to see the rest of this season unfold. So yeah, we are looking forward to seeing that then, man. Exciting couple of months. Can't wait, man. Good Cheers. luck. Driftmasters round five, Mario Poch. First, time for a quick dip. Lori Heinonen, we are here in Hungary for round five and you are very much in this championship fight. How are you feeling coming into this round? Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, I think it was, it's kind of like a reset situation when we are, the three of us is so tight. So yeah, I, I'm feeling good. Have you done much practice on this track before? Uh, not that much. I've been kind of busy, but some sim practice and uh, the track feels great. I think we're going to have uh, some great tandems. Awesome, man. And the car, last check from Riga, is everything good with the car? Yeah, uh, in top 16 we went out because of a tyre issue, so uh, the car is perfect. I think it's it's the best, best ever. Awesome, man. Well, good luck out there this weekend. We can't wait to see how this unfolds. Thank you. We're in round five, Hungary, and you are sat in the top three of the Driftmasters Championship standings. How are you feeling coming into this round? Uh, sort of not even thinking about where I'm standing at the minute in the championship uh, position. Just take it around at a time, but uh, with the car piece back again, again after Riga, and uh, it feels everything seems 100% on it, no chassis damage or anything. So, yeah, uh, there should be no car excuses anyway. So. Look, we'll go out this weekend and we can give it all we can, all, all we can do and hopefully that's enough to take us to the top spot. Amazing. Well, we look forward to seeing you out there, dude. Have fun. Relax tonight. We'll Thank see you tomorrow. Thank you. Well, my friends, today is slowly coming to an end here in Mario Poch, but I'd love to hear from you guys in this little box here or if you're watching this on TikTok in the comments, if you could please leave some questions for some of the drivers that are competing this weekend and we will try to get round to them tomorrow during the practice session. So... Once again, leave your comments in this box and I'll head over to them tomorrow. But from me here, see you in the morning.